Israel Defense Forces said it launched airstrikes on Monday in which a senior Hamas commander was killed. As per Israel, this was in response to rockets fired by Hamas. Viewers may note that tensions in the region escalated after violent confrontations in several areas, including Al-Aqsa Mosque and in the Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood of Jerusalem. Early morning on Tuesday, Israel Defense Forces stated that terrorist groups in Gaza have been firing rockets at Israeli civilians for the last 10 hours. The situation is fluid and there is apprehension in the global community that things could spiral out of control. While several nations have launched vigorous verbal campaigns against Israel for many years, there is almost zero possibility that any will initiate actual military action. There are reasons for it. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why no enemy of Israel dares to attack it. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. The Arrow is a family of anti-ballistic missiles designed to fulfill an Israeli requirement for a missile defense system that would be more effective against ballistic missiles than the MIM-104 Patriot surface-to-air missile. It is jointly funded and produced by Israel and the United States. The Arrow system consists of the Joint Production Hypersonic Arrow Anti-Missile Interceptor, the Elta ELM-2080 Green Pine Early Warning AESA radar the Alisra Golden Citron Citron Tree C3I Center and Israeli Aerospace Industries Brown Hazelnut Hazelnut Tree Launch Control Center. The system is transportable as it can be moved to other prepared sites. Arrow 3 is the latest and the most advanced interceptor and is capable enough to bring down many ballistic missiles. The Israeli Navy has hailed the arrival of the first Sa'ar 6 class missile corvette, the INS Magan. Magan is the first of four Sa'ar 6 class warships being built for the Israeli Navy. The warship is described as the newest and most advanced ship yet. The Sa'ar 6 warships are derived from the German Navy's own Braunschweig class corvettes but have significant differences when it comes to sensor and weapons integration and has better stealth characteristics. The warship has ELM-2248 MF Star Multifunction Active Electronically Scanned Array AESA, radar, which is one of the best in the world. For the anti-ship role, Sa'ar-6 has Israel Aerospace Industries IAI, Gabriel missile. The missile possesses a 240 kilogram or 530 pound warhead and has a range of 248 miles or 400 kilometers. For the air defense role, Sa'ar 6 has Rafael's Barak 8 as well as Sea Dome. Barak 8 has a range of 90 kilometers or 56 miles and is capable of taking out highly maneuverable supersonic cruise missiles. Sea Dome is essentially a sea based variant of the famed Iron Dome system. It's primarily a sea ram solution, which is meant for countering rockets, artillery shells, and mortar rounds. But it can also take out other threats, which include cruise missiles and drones. The warship of this class will have a pair of sea dome systems, each armed with 20 Tamir missiles. The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II 
is a fifth generation single seat single engine all weather stealthy multi role fighter Israel is the first country outside the US to acquire them and has got a customized variant it's already got deliveries of several f-35s and has plans to acquire around 75 of these the acquired jets are operated by the IAF's Golden Eagle squadron which is based in the Nevatim Air Base Israel has maintained that the Lockheed Martin F-35 is a game-changer and it's the first country in the world to carry out an operational attack using the F-35 Israeli Air Force F-35I stealth fighters had struck several Iranian targets in Iraq twice in 2018 not only this as reported by the Kuwaiti Al Jarida newspaper two F-35I Adir jets flew undetected over Syria and Iraq and were able to sneak into Iranian airspace they carried out reconnaissance missions over the Iranian cities Bandar Abbas Esfahan and Shiraz Syria is where the Russian s-300 and s-400 were present and they were clueless so f-35 I Adir in the hands of Israel's competent pilots and planners will be a deadly force the Jericho 3 is the third missile to serve as Israel's land-based nuclear deterrent the Jericho 3 is believed to have a range of 6,000 kilometers or 3,740 miles and is capable of carrying a 1,000 kilogram or 2,200 pound warhead the missile is reportedly thought to be solid fueled meaning it can be launched with minimum preparation and reportedly based in silos capable of resisting attack the Jericho 3 as well as the older generation Jericho 2 missiles may be based at the Palmachim Air Base Jericho 3 is believed to carry a single nuclear warhead or three low-yield multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles the precise yield of Israel's ICBM warheads is unknown but unconfirmed reports peg them at 20 kilotons for comparison the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima was 16 kilotons Jericho 3 is a strong deterrence against any aggression most of the countries that possess nukes operate nuclear powered ballistic missile submarines these can stay submerged for months at a time but manufacturing and operating this kind of submarine is very costly to mitigate this Israel has found a unique solution Israel struck a deal with Germany for three enlarged type 209 diesel electric submarines designated as the Dolphin class the subs displace 1,900 tons while submerged measure 57 meters long and are manned by a crew of 35 each Dolphin came equipped with six regular 533 millimeter tubes as well as four large 650 millimeter tubes the regular tubes can be used to accommodate heavyweight torpedoes and harpoon anti-ship missiles but the larger tubes have strategic implications since these can be used to deploy submarine launched cruise missiles SLCM that are large enough to carry a nuclear warhead it's thought that these submarines are armed with Popeye turbo SLBM which carries a 200 kiloton nuclear warhead Israel ordered three more German submarines which are designated as Dolphin 2 class these are larger and have better endurance the combination of Dolphin and Dolphin 2 submarines with Popeye Turbo SLBM makes attacking Israel a suicidal act. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.